always just loved to draw. As a kid, I used to draw houses in perspective, so I was really great at organized drawing, if you will, or structured drawing. My name is David Ruthven. I'm a senior experience lead on the Phillips Design Team here in Cambridge, Mass. And my role is to serve as a project lead across several different projects that we have in the Innovation Hub. The genesis of this project is really interesting. It's just kind of when everything was starting to shut down. You know, I remember seeing like when the NBA shut down for me, that's when it became real. It was like, wow, if this major sports league is not going to function, then this ripple effect was going to take place. So that same week, the leader of the Innovation Hub in Cambridge, Joe Frassica, had approached me and said, there's some interest from our friends in Italy to look at a mobile ICU solution because at that time, their hospitals were just completely overwhelmed and people were desperate to just have beds. Right off the bat, we had people that were like, I'm going to jump on making a low-cost ventilator solution that we can develop and productize quickly. One of our designers was 3D printing masks for frontline providers. Some other people jumped on just explaining what our portfolio, how it could be applied to the pandemic. In this particular case, because of my background in architecture and familiarity with some key components of our informatics portfolio, I opted to lead this mobile hospital response with my colleague, Alex Tan. One of the, the luxuries of working at Philips is there's just so many different people with different backgrounds and skill sets that can pop in and out of projects and give you feedback and opinions. And we had some clinical staff that had worked in EDs or in ICUs that lend credence to the design, helped kind of work through several early options that we had in terms of how the flow would work and how the units would be configured. When you're designing something, I think designers always tend to gravitate towards the aesthetics and the beauty and the flourishes and the end result. But in a hospital, those things are not unimportant, but they're usually not going to be in the top three. So I think what we're always trying to do is kind of strike that balance and blend beauty and simplicity and elegance with grounded sort of well thought through functional requirements. What was unique with this project is show not how you could just make the space to care for people, but how you could embed all of the sophisticated technological systems you would typically have in a hospital. We looked at using a shipping containers at Lego building block. Within the unit itself, it wasn't necessarily only about the beds, it was also about creating this flexible work core that could be used and, and really optimize the clinician's ability to care for as many people as possible in a safe manner. The way that the roof planes are articulated is to help aid with airflow in the unit. So what we looked at was delivering clean air low in the space. Then as the heat rises, it moves towards the ceiling and then is pulled through this ridge vent that disinfects it with UV light. We design a modular system that could be rapidly deployed in remote locations and configured into different types of units from a critical care to a step town. We set up a clean intake side to the unit, a hot zone core where all the work would take place, and then a discharge soiled side for supplies and materials that have been used to come out, but also for people to disinfect and safely leave the unit. We wanted to look at it as a modular system that could be deployed and configured based on a wide range of different care settings, so in a stadium or in a field. So within the unit itself, what we looked to do was to integrate an electronic medical record system and also to provide clinical dashboards and information aggregation systems so that the staff could not only care for the patients but monitor them in many cases with kind of limited actual human resources on site. So that was another big concern during the pandemic is there's just not enough people to care for others. Looking back, it was a crazy time and it was stressful, but I'm really proud of not only the work our team was able to do on this particular project, but just our company's response in general to the pandemic. 
I don't think in the end this project represents the perfect results that we could achieve. This is just the beginning of a longer journey we would have to take to make this real. But I think it did help to create an illustration of what the pure concept was for us to be able to articulate that to all the different stakeholders that would be required to make this real. And that's really powerful.